Hello, hello. Hi, Nova. Hello. Okay. So Hello. Uh, we have two people coming that are coming a bit late, but why don't we just start a round of check-in? Uh, would you like to go first, Lori, and just uh, tell us where you're at, how was your week or a few weeks, and then uh, we'll just go through everybody. Well, my few weeks have been pretty good. I um, have a team at the Learning Centre that I practiced on the Synergy map the other day. We sat down and we're doing some planning on what we're going to do with this Learning Centre and how it's going to look. And I asked the team if we could use the Synergy map. So I was teaching them about it. And we pulled out all the conversation cards, like physically on a round table. And um, they were pretty mesmerized by it because it only took us one hour to go through it. We all chose values for the 936. We only did the 936 role because we call that the engine, the engine of running the organization or the foundation. Nice. So we went through that. We each chose two, we each chose 20 values um, ahead of time so that we kind of knew what touched our hearts and then we divinely chose from there. So now our next meeting is going to be bring those three down to one that we agree on for each of the each of the areas. So that was a lot of fun. So and I, You got three values. So now you're down to three for each position on the synergy. But only for the 936. We're only starting at the 936. We call that the engine. The 147 is the compass and the 852 is the fuel. Wait, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So where are we going? Where's the company? Like, where are we heading to? 147, the conversations we have there. And then the 852 will be the fuel. What are the actions we need to set up to get going forward? That's Margaret Smith stuff from her, um, right here. Dr. Margaret Smith, the Nine Principles book. Margaret Smith, the Nine Principles. Yeah. She also wrote Money from Fear to Love, which is a fabulous book. So she uses all the Enneagram, the nine points and stuff like that and goes through it. This book is so powerful. You can see it's worn out already. Canadian born woman living in LA now. So, and in that book, she's got the money principles on the Enneagram, right? No, Money from Fear to Love is the one with the money principles. That's this one. I'll show you. So these are her two books. And she just wrote another one called Prosperity Architecture. So I, I clicked in with her because I did one of her training courses down in San Francisco years ago. And uh, her company was called Prosperity Architecture. So she really, if you guys don't mind, I'll just read you her little bio. She's a certified financial planner, certified Riso Hudson Enneagram trainer, certified integral coach and a former economics prof. She received her PhD in business economics from Harvard and her BA cum sum laude from Yale. She's an intuitive money coach, teacher, and inspirational speaker who leads workshops on transformations around money. So that's why I've kind of worked with her because that's what I want to work with is the transformation around money. So we're not living our lives as this is the main resource and we're stressed out if we don't have it and we're stressed out if we have too much of it because then you're paying taxes. And we have another resource called time, which is made way more valuable or just as valuable, right? We can't buy more of that. We can go make more money. So that's where I got the fuel engine compass from is this book, Elijah. So that was a good experience for me because I've kind of put stuff on the back burner. Now I'm going every step that I take now, I'm pulling out some form of map. And the only maps I really work with you guys is the inner outer inner outer those four maps are my key and then learning the ideal job designing your ideal job that elijah's got i want to learn that map because i think a lot of people are in work environments that they don't like it's not fulfilling their life purpose mm -hmm. thank you can, can you do you have the, the the enneagram with those nine points on it can you read that out like personalities yeah the, yeah margaret okay. smith's yeah, personality number one in the money, in the money one. So I took from the not, harmony, which one? Not the money one, the uh, the one that has beliefs at four. And oh, okay, the discovery it. process. Yeah. Okay, number one, when you think of the personality, right? So number one is accounting. How well do you keep track of your money? And if, you, if, is, every, if, if, if everyone can just draw an Enneagram right now. Draw a circle, you, yeah. Um, this is a very good map. Because this, this ties us into the whole financial system. So 
I don't um, have a copy of it here either. Okay, um, so number one is accounting. So number one is accounting. How well do you keep track of your money? Number two is spending. How in tuned are you to your spending? Three is um, spending earning. Are you earning money to your greatest potential? Four is beliefs. Well, how are the stories that you tell yourself around money support you to the world of abundance? Five is knowledge. How curious are you about money? Six is risk management. How prepared are you for things that could go wrong? So somebody in the life insurance business would be great in the risk management. Seven is planning. Eight is wealth management. Nine is flow. How in the flow are you with your money? And then of course the center is communications. What are the conversations, communications that you have with yourself, with others, with friends, with kids, with family around money? It's awesome. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, and I call it the discovery process and I've been working on it kind of, but I haven't put it full into force yet. And then what I use when I'm doing that is I basically use the 852 from the outer you because a lot of the money is your, your behaviors, right? Your values around behavior. So I'll build you a map as a couple or an individual with the 852. So the two is we're talking about the resource of money because I'm a financial advisor. The eight is what is the steps and the what are the steps we're gonna take to get you to your three top financial goals? And then eight, five, two, and five is what are the products services or the people we're going to use to get you there because I don't do everything for people if it's life insurance I have to refer them so that was built from the number two on the harmony map the outer group map because number two on there is economics so then I just took that and refined it with Margaret into a process around money very nice Jordan, you want to check in? Yeah, feeling good. Feeling, I've been, it's, it's been feeling very, uh, a lot of processing, a lot of weight, moving a lot of weight, just in terms of like, I don't know, karmic backup and, and overcoming like you know, limiting beliefs and whatnot over the last like week since we talked. Um, but I just reached to the point in the, in the turn of this week and in the turn of, into the light of, uh, of this new week where I reached the, um, the extent of the expansion, I right? it's just it's very sharp. The turn today of like expanding all the ideas, elaborating, like you know, like getting everything, like understanding, you know, where this hurricane is going and aligning. Anyway, I'm to the point now where everything is just like ref, like ref, getting refined into very specific channels. Um, I'm very clear. So there's been like a lot of things spread out everywhere where it's been kind of hard to work, but you can see the whole picture. And I got to the point where, okay, I don't have to look at the whole picture anymore. I can now move into like specific channels, which means I can actually go into like production because I have energy. I have like a, a scope, a lens to see with clarity, like the step-by-step -step instead of seeing the entirety of what's being created. Um, so, um, yeah, there's almost like uh, there's production buckets or production lenses, right? And so I've taken um, the nine video, the nine video concepts, the nine video titles, and I plugged them into nine of those slots. And so that's kind of like you could look at it as like I, I took the, the key, I had like nine keys, and I plugged them into nine different vehicles. And, uh, and I and that just occurred um, today. So it's basically this week is like, and you know, over like between now and tomorrow, it's turning those keys and starting those engines and create like actually moving forward with being able to manifest the results of the, of the, of the, um, of the video creations. Awesome. I was wondering if maybe you could take off your background and perhaps show everyone your room because it, I think it's a work of art. It's pretty and cool. I don't think people are quite getting the, what you're talking about. 
Well, it's because, yeah, because there's no, you don't know, there's just data. It's just data everywhere and there's no structure. You don't know how to hold the structure. So everything's on strings has been, I'm just saying this before because it's a much more refined than it was moments ago. Um, but things hold for a moment, you scan them and then they collapse, right? Because they can't hold, there's no structure holding them in place, right? But you just, they're there long enough to, um, oh, I'm just trying to take off my little virtual background. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ah, so, there's that. Yeah, we've got. So these are uh, like the 27 cars. So there's nine keys for the videos, right? Each one of these blocks is its own like set of you know production qualities. And we've got 27 of those. Is that and the male or the female? Is that this the is the female. So each one, each one of these blocks has. Um, a very fantastic woman uh, guiding me or that I'm, you know, anchoring or kind of creating this on those threads of their, of their energy. And the pulse now is on the other side. Oh, and it's, yeah, it's taken on a very fantastic form. It's, it's very layered. It's very layered. There's, there's a lot of different, like, Oh, I can't, I don't want to get too close because it's kind of like some of the parts are pretty vulgar <laughs> to be honest, but yeah, that's the, uh, you know, there's three primary channels of basically how my light manifests into the, into the world. And, uh, and then there's, there's behind that, there's the pulse model Monday through Friday and the three channels are basically like don't want to explain it too much i'd rather show you than like in the in the presentation of what it looks like to to be produced rather than just tell you about it but it is kind of like yeah what what it's like mobilizing around right now you know lots of yeah lot layers on layers but they're stacked in uh in very refined ch channels now so you can see oh that's how the energy goes it's just like that and uh you can just tune into it very, very easily and swiftly. And so just for our viewing audience, within there somewhere are a few of the nine par new paradigm maps, but it's, it's, in it's connected with, of course, uh, your other meta systems. So um, this is what happens when you have the maps too much. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Maybe we should give a little bit of a warning because uh, some people may not want that to happen to their homes, but I, I think you're taking it to a new level, Jordan, of uh, conceptual design. Well, in the, it's just, it's data and it's data that's like, you know, functioning in terms of, pro, you know, producing an, a very exciting uh, way of relating to your schedule, your financial accountability, your social schedule, your business uh, plans and contracts using the inflow matrix and all the design of the maps, but it's in the end, it gets presented. The presentation is very clean and very approachable and very understandable um, it, with it, like in the, in, the, in the refinement of it. But before it has a, a model, it's just data that's kind of like, just kind of all over the place. Really. So if we, if we look at the first two people coming in with different models, and then integrating with the inflow matrix, uh, that's the idea is having these tools that we can use to use as reference points so we can begin to understand each other because a lot of our maps are very different, right? So Chinoa, how are you doing? And you wanna check in? I'm doing all right, thank you. I've been tasked with um, coming up with a, a business plan, but maybe that's premature, we don't know yet. And um, also getting together, looking at a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo uh, fundraising campaign. Um, so I've looked into a little bit, I started looking at business, creating a, um, a business plan and um, seeing all the different information that needs to go into it so that it's understandable in sort of a very um, traditional way, but maybe that's archaic because after looking at um, what Lori presented, I'm wondering maybe I could create the business plan designed around that discovery process. 
um, and those design principles. So I'm kind of a little bit all over the place. I got a bunch of different ideas in my head. I made a list of things for, especially for Indiegogo, we have to make a list of things that we might sell um, for an Indiegogo campaign, you know, as that you give as gifts for what people donate. Basically they're prepaying for your service or your product. Um, and I mean, my, my list started at a price point of $400. Um, and Elijah was suggesting maybe we need to start with something cheap around 10 or $20. But um, I don't know, like you have to get so many more people to invest 10 or 20 bucks. And it's a lot of work to provide that product, whatever you're giving to them for 10 or 20 bucks. Um, it might, I don't know, I kind of think it's better to start at our mid sell offering instead of a really a low sell offering. So there's a lot of things to discuss in that area. Um, I just have most of the pieces in my head. I've written a few things down, but we had a discussion about in order to do this, certain steps have to be complete um, before you go ahead with an Indiegogo campaign, specifically, especially if you're offering a product or a service, Elijah's working on this new website and that new website really needs to be complete. And maybe his first steps for the courses that he's doing at Le Ciel need to be complete. Um, because even though the rest of us can help with maybe production of the product, if we're if we're offering a service as an in, as an investment, um, as a way to raise capital, then um, Elijah has to be ready to provide that service. So um, I think it's an ongoing process over the next month or so. Uh, of working on it. I don't think it's going to be complete in one week or anything like that. Yeah. I, I just, I wonder perhaps if uh, Chino and Lori, if you had a chat in Zoom and went through the discovery process, it mm -hmm. might help to integrate both because what, what I see happening here is each person is bringing their gift and what they really want to do and design their ideal job within this. That's one of the main goals here. And yeah. so Lori, Lori has, you know, very big plans for to, to transform money on the planet and she's using mm. this 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 enneagram knowledge piece and the idea that again with the inflow matrix is we can take the you know other maps and other knowledge and integrate it into the conceptual structure and so we're we're looking for best practices the inflow is only just like a layer and then underneath here is the good content and other systems that really work and so I'm just wondering if we want to cross pollinate and connect these parts together. So it just kind of makes sense that the uh, whatever business plan that we have run it through the discovery process, and then it's going to be built into the design of what we're doing. How's that? Sound? Yeah, and 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 that it reflects it reflects you know um, the essential qualities of what we're doing as well. Mm -hmm. And, and I've often thought like you two, when you, when your minds meet and, and, and both of you have, I think, huge pieces of the puzzle to come together and especially mm. around money. So I, I think that, uh, um, I think that could be a next step for you guys. Uh, Noah, do you want to check on in and how you doing and what's been happening? Uh, yeah, Nova checking in. Um, feeling pretty good. Um, I did not get as much as I wanted to finished before this meeting, um, but should be able to load it up. Uh, choose your remedy. Choose a remedy on uh, your phones and different size desktops and everything now. Um, yeah, I guess what slows me down in this process is I'm not really a professional designer. So a lot of the design work is actually trial and error for me, uh, which is definitely not the best way to go. Uh, programming wise, I can conceptualize and design anything, but when it comes to positioning and sizing things and making everything fit on different screen sizes and all that sort of stuff, uh, that's more trial and error and slow process for me. So yeah, just hoping the universe will send us a designer at some point. Um, but yeah, you should be able to load up the website on different desktops and different uh, mobiles and landscape and portrait and all that. Um, but yeah, otherwise 
yeah, I'm just uh, interested in what everyone else has to say. All right, thank you. Lara, how are you doing? Ooh. Um, well, I'm starting to feel like less of a sack of potatoes. Um, <laughs> there was uh, my property manager and his wife and another person who came to my door today, uh, videotaping me, telling me to hand over the keys and uh, vacate the premises. And I said, no, <laughs> and that I am talking with the owner and I'm meeting her at the end of February and I will be dealing with my money affairs with her. And yeah, and he's like, you're, you're bringing this up to the next level. And then I was like, well, you know, I have nowhere else to go, Tough pity. And then they left and then I was really nervous. And then I, yeah. And then, so I've been starting to kind of try to move it through my body again. So that's good. That's a good sign because before I'm like a sack of potatoes, like, what do I do? So now I'm like actually being able to make some, I guess, yeah, some action. Anyway, uh, regarding the very secret plan and all that, uh, I'm the most creative thing is uh, a thing in my mind of making a, like actually making the toolkit um, in a briefcase of some sort. So like thinking about how that's gonna look like. Um, and yeah, some custom ones really creatively like geared towards um, each individual. And yeah, working towards making, getting that uh, a tangible thing to sell. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's, it's also, yeah, it's still sludging through the depths of my despair. I'm hoping to, I feel better after the full moon, I guess. So that was good, but, um, but yeah, starting to regain my sense of self again and connect with my creativity again and stuff like that. Without being so terrified and scared. <laughs> mm. Because it's hard to work when you're terrified. Um, yeah. Other than that, I've just been binge watching a show and trying to pack. And that's about it. <laughs> I guess for the viewing audience, if you don't know, uh, Lara was given an eviction notice um, by someone who... Uh, Anyway, that's a whole other story, but. Yeah, I sent her another message saying that um, I'm sick and tired of this. This man has to leave me alone. He was staring outside my, like outside at my house for like five minutes, just staring at me while I moved. And then while I was cleaning my car. And so I went inside and then he was still just staring at my house. It's just like, I'm sick and tired of this harassment. And I'm like, it's so unnecessary. And it's all because of miscommunication or no communication with the actual owners who are, you know, filthy rich and really busy. <laughs> they don't care about what's going on in a, in a derelict kind of falling apart property that they just want to sell now. So hopefully she gets back to me. I added her on Facebook too. So hopefully she gets back to me and I get some direct communication with her. Um, otherwise, yeah. Um, still kind of living in fear until I hear back from her. So hopefully soon, I just want to start achieving. That's what I said. I want to start achieving and like moving in a direction because this like, I can't have, yeah. can't have this old man dictating and harassing me anymore. It's not okay. Mm -hmm. So Brooke and Lindsay just showed up right on uh, cue to, uh, you guys are right on time to check in. Everyone's done their check-in and now it's your turn to check in if you'd like. <laughs> we're just going to the bathroom right now. Sorry, we're just like using Wi-Fi in a cafe outside. How you doing? 
good. We just had like a house meeting um, because me and Finn and Brooke are trying to be able to find a place together Um, because we all don't have really good housing right now and we're all not into our roommate situations. So we're all just trying to figure that out so that we can get into a place where we feel more comfortable with with each other. Um, So I think like with all that aside, generally it's like we're just trying to figure it out, but we're good. And I think we're we're headed into a pretty good location. So it was like in my life right now, like my roommate situation isn't super good. And I really want to live in a place that feels a lot better. Um, So I'm happy. I'm moving out in like a couple of days and moving in with my friend for the next month or so until we can, me, Brooke and Finn can figure out our living situation together. And I think it's going to be really good. So there's like stuff going on with that. But I think in a couple of months, it's going to be a lot more settled and feel a lot more home, homey and stable and grounded. So, yeah. Yeah, it feels good. Awesome. Uh, I guess I haven't checked in. And maybe when Brooke comes back. I've just been working on the website and trying to create a page for every card so that when you press on the buttons inside the program that then people can be led to a place where they can get more training or more understanding or whatever the reading means. And so that's something which I should have done 10 years ago, but haven't. And it's just difficult, not difficult. It's just very tedious, time consuming work that I've never been able to do, but I'm doing. And that's wonderful to be able to do it um, piece by piece. And so, and Lysiel, they have a meeting with me every week and they do filming with me and they're creating a video series of, of parts of the New Paradigm Toolkit that are going into this larger program. And they have a you know, full team of people that are um, bringing people into the program and uh, doing filming and editing and uh, organizing. And so it's, it's the first time that tools in the New Paradigm Toolkit are going into an educational curriculum uh, and having tw- uh, 12 teams of 12, 13 teams of 12 people who are going to be going through the program for one year. It starts the first three months as personal development. The next three months is group emergence. And then the next three months is collective intelligence. So they're, and they're starting with gene keys and then using stuff from the new paradigm toolkit and then bringing in some things from another uh, systems architect, uh, Juan Carlos, who has a magic canoe. And just so they're bringing together different conceptual models from different people and then having a a one year program through the whole year and very supported and very well organized. And so it's it's wonderful to work with with people from the LCL Foundation. So we're just coming to the end. Oh, here's Brooke. Okay, we'll have a uh, Brooke can check in and then we'll stop the uh, we'll stop it because we're coming to the end of 40 minutes and then we'll read. I'll send you a link. And then we'll go in and we'll start using the tool and we'll do the uh, best next step for everyone. So we'll just have everyone use the tool to see how we can all improve our life and uh, help us get some insights. And so, Brooke, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> this, is, this, this is the time to check on in. So, <laughs> yeah, um, um, I'm doing good. <laughs> Well, sometimes you don't need more than that. Um, would you like to say more? Is that enough for now? <laughs> That's good. Okay. So we'll end the meeting uh, and I'll just send you a link to bring you back and then we'll jump into the next part. Okay. Great. See everybody.